Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obit Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we're checking out Wastelander, which is a very interesting colony sim, city builder, base builder style thing. It's set on Mars, I think, or a, 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 another planet, that's for sure. Anyway, let's jump into things. As ever, I will do my very best to explain what the heck is going on. So, um, the way that this game plays is very, very interesting. It's a very, very, very unique style of game, um, and I really can't wait to showcase it to you, dear viewer. Now, what have we got going on here? We have got... We got a lot of stuff on the screen right now, uh, and I'm going to explain it. Uh, so, this is our crashed ship. This is it. The wreckage of your ship provides a large amount of storage as well as metal and energy income. Indeed, that is very, very important. As you can see, uh, right up at the top here, we have got all of our resources. Now, time is a resource. You must have an active connection of all the ruins on this map before the time limit runs out, otherwise you lose. Indeed, that is the time limit. It's a very sort of snippy, snappy uh, city builder, which I think is very, very cool indeed. Now, uh, we've got a storm uh, countdown timer as well, also very, very important. Uh, we've got the number of ruins that are on this map. These are the sort of uh, the objectives that we need to connect. We'll talk about that in a little bit uh, in a sec. We have got a our metal here, uh, which we have got, uh, got our little income over here and then our storage we've also got electricity our electricity income and then we've also got water water income over there so um, how do we manipulate the world? How do we interact? Well, uh, what we can do is we can build a whole bunch of different buildings, and we're going to be going through all of these different buildings and utilizing them, uh, but we do need to be aware of the fact that there is going to be a, a, a storm, a Martian storm, which is going to try and rain on our parade, or I guess sand on our parade, so to speak. Uh, there's a whole bunch of other stuff that we can unlock as well. Uh, there's a scan ability, reveals a 3x3 three three square, which we are going to be utilizing as much as we possibly can, but that's going to cost us a whole bunch of energy. Uh, we've also got a couple of items here. We've got scrap walls, um, which allows us to protect against storms. We've got dynamite, if we need to bulldoze through this uh, through this mountain, for example. Uh, we've got the ability to scan in a large sort of area, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Whole bunch of other stuff. But let's sort of chat about, I guess, the most optimal way of going about accomplishing our objectives. What the heck is this? A supply drop. Supplies called down from orbit by a previous expedition provides a choice of rewards when connected. Yes. So everything needs to be connected, basically. Um, we need to make sure that everything is connected to the base, and if we're able to do that, then we're able to win the game. So, a couple of things that I think we should probably start with, and then we can sort of talk about some of the features as as we go let us utilize the scan ability i think we're going to scan right about here okay that gives me a whole bunch of a whole bunch of intel this is this is good intel this is good intel so what we need to do as i say we need to connect up the ruins we need to connect up all seven and we've got 50 turns to do it which sounds like which sounds like ages but it's actually really, really not. Because the way that we connect, the way that we connect different buildings is with uh, with this rail route, actually, which is kind of cool. I kind of dig it. In fact, I really dig it. It's very, very cool indeed. Uh, we've also got a tunnel. It's a tunnel through the mountain. Very, very cool. Extremely expensive. It's going to cost us eight metal to build instead of this one singular metal that we can get from the, uh, the rail. We've got wind turbines, which gives us energy generation. We've got batteries, allows for increased energy storage, excavator, metal generation, not very efficient, 10 energy, god, that's a lot, uh, an ice mine allows us to generate water, a warehouse, extra metal storage, uh, a water tank, water storage, and then a platform, cheaply crosses some specialty tiles, shielded whilst connected, so that's about it, however, let me tell you that over the course of this run, uh, we are going to be developing a whole bunch of additional buildings, this is the starter, this is the starter, this is the sample size uh, of, uh, of buildings that we've got, so what I think we should do is I think we should try and connect, we should try and connect the supply drop, see what we've got here, look at that, we've got immediately, immediately we've got access to either a new item, uh, a new blueprint or a new deployment. We found some remnant AI looking for a shelter. If we let them use some of our storage facilities, they'll provide resources from their powerful alien hive. Alternatively, it converts all sand tiles between itself and other agri walls to grass. Um, that's really interesting. Or we can get a deployment of a of an alien hive. I mean, I kind of dig that, but I'm tremendously like. I, I presume this is a capacity thing. Um, I think this is a bit dangerous for us. A seed bomb turns a tile to grass. That's cool. We'd get two of those as well. Let's go for an agri well. I, I like that idea. Sure. So we can jump into here. An agri... An agri well. An agri wall. An agri wall is going to cost us five uh, five water to build. We don't actually have the capacity to do that at the moment. What do we got down here? 
Uh, Mutagen Vance. The unholy biotech contained here could unlock new ways to enhance graph growth, unlocks the mutation ability whilst connected. Okay, I mean, I'm interested. I'm really, really interested in 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 getting in getting up there. Storms have exposed this interface that connects to a vast underground network of machinery. Buildings here built receive double their normal positive income. Counts as a flat tile. Very, very cool indeed. Um, it's worth noting, by the way, that sand, um, sand can be converted. Sand can be converted with a seed bomb into grass. And if it's converted to grass, then that means that we don't need to worry about about, um, we don't need to worry about the storm tiles, which are going to uh, be coming for us very, very soon indeed. We don't need to worry about them. Let's actually, let's see if we can try and build up a little bit of energy infrastructure. It's going to cost us three, there we go, going to cost us three energy to do. So we'll build that over there. And actually, that will get us a little bit of additional info. Um, we have got four metal coming in next turn. We've got six energy. Honestly, the more energy, the better, as far as I'm concerned, because we're going to need to try and scan as much as we possibly can. Again, we have a very, very, very limited time frame here. I am nervous that this is going to that this is going to not go so well. Right, the turn has flicked over to the next one. Let us see what we want to do. Um, this feels like it should be a lot easier to connect than it's going to end up being. We do have the dynamite here. Causes this tile to explode, causes this tile to explode. I mean, is that just straight away worth me doing? I feel like dynamite is going to be a really, really, really valuable resource, and I don't want to just blow it on, you know, like a route through here, a route through the mountains over here. But, I mean, that's okay. That's okay for now. Again, good electricity generation. Happy with that. Should we maybe, should we maybe drop a scan? Should we maybe drop a scan and then maybe think about building a battery? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I think that's a good idea. Alternatively, yeah, double their normal positive income. I really like the idea of building up to this and getting a metal extractor on here. I mean, that would be unbelievably sick if we could do that. Uh, so the metal extractor is, yeah, 10 energy though, but it would give us four metal. And that would, oh no, we, we wouldn't be able to build it. We wouldn't be able to build it there. No, it counts as a flat tile. We need to build it on a uh, on an ore surface. Okay, well, that's fine. We're, we're building down here anyway. Can I? Yes, just keep coming. Keep coming down here. Okay, you love to see it. You love to see it. That's a prime location for a... That's a prime location for a wind turbine, I think. Can we build it right now? No, we cannot, but that's fine. We've got the ore, we've got the ore thingy over here, the, the ore extractor ready to go over there as soon as we possibly can. What can I get done with two metal? Yeah, I maybe built a little bit, maybe built a little bit too far, but that's actually, it's fine. You know, it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. Um, there's the agri wall as well, which I do like the idea of, but we need to get water in order to get that sorted. How do I get an ice mine? Four electricity? That's a large a large amount, and it needs to be built on one of these um, ice deposits, which is fine, but it's just something that we're going to have to deal with in due course. Right, I think maybe we leave our, we leave our, um, we leave our, we leave our situation like that. I mean, maybe I go up here. Is that going to be very useful for me? I tell you what, maybe over here is a good idea. Yeah, let's go, let's go here. Right, okay, that is absolutely hot garbage. That's really, really bad. Uh, but it also probably means that there is only going to be one way to access this ruins tile right here, and it's going to be with uh, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of dynamite. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, as long as we're not overflowing resources as we move forward, then that is fine. Because if you've ever played Supreme Commander 2 Forged Alliance, or any other resource management game for that matter, but Subcom sticks out in my mind as a particularly egregious uh, example. Uh, it's never good. It's never good to overflow. It's never good to overflow at all. So we'll see if we can try and avoid that. Right. So um, wind turbines. Yeah, I'd love to get a wind turbine down here. I'd love to get a... I'd love to get this all connected up, but I can't do it. I can't do it right now, can I? Don't think so. I'd also really, really, really value the opportunity to get some additional batteries. Also, I feel like maybe we just need to connect this up because if we're able to get, if we're able to connect it up, then we're able to get like extra value from it immediately. Uh, let's go. Alternatively, we could put a battery here. Actually, let's do that. Yeah, okay, so that actually gets us double. And to be honest, that is a great investment because it costs us three, uh, three metal, which is what I was going to spend on here anyway. Uh, and then I can build a rail right across to here. Brilliant. Okay. Um, ruin uncovered. What do we get? We get the option of uh, two augments. 
Uh, explode leaves behind a rail. Oh, that's good. Drive anomaly without warning. Your jump drive comes back to life and surges energy to all connected buildings. But somehow unfamiliar. All, waste, all non wasteland tiles not occupied by a building are fogged and reshuffled. Um, I'm going to take geometric demolition because I have the ability to immediately connect this up, which would be so unbelievably sick if we could do that. I mean, yes, please. That sounds amazing. I want to try and get this metal. I want to try and get this metal mine down as soon as I possibly can. But I think, you know what? I think we're actually just going to blow up. I think we're actually going to blow up here. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then we're going to place one more rail right in there. Oh my goodness gracious me, we're going to hit both the supply drop and the, the the ruin at the same time. Right, what do we got in the supply drop? Creates a scrap wall around the nearest unshielded flat tile. Every turn in this valley, maximum range is three. That seems pretty freaking good. Metallurgy lab, constructing one will unlock the reinforce ability. Each subsequent copy will reduce the metal cost. Uh, I think I'm going to take the scrap beacon. And what about in the ruin? All relics are revealed. Shielded relics shield themselves and all adjacent tiles when connected. Tunnels cost two less metal to build. Tunnels explode during the next storm. Uh, that sounds terrible. Let's go with that one. Okay. An orbital cannon? What the heck? So what did we... What did we uncover? Oh, we got a recycling plant. Strange facility uses energy to deconstruct buildings and recover the metal used to build them. Unlocks the recycle ability whilst connected. Okay, that's cool. Orbital cannon. A terminal with an uplink to a powerful orbital cannon. This should be used with care. Unlocks the bombard ability. Bombards a mountain from orbit, triggering triggering an eruption and converting it to a lava tile. I mean, that sounds useful to some degree and completely useless by all other accounts. But hey-ho, that is, that's fine. Right, uh, what do we need? We need more electricity. We need more electricity regen, quite simply. Um... Quite simply, we need more electricity regen. We need at least two additional wind turbines before we're going to be able to leverage this uh, this tile over here. But honestly, I am fairly happy with that. Let's get a let's get a scan down. We'll try and move down towards. Oh my god! Really, really, really? Video game? We're gonna be that's it's it's literally with the exception of one or two tiles. That's it. Right. Storm danger. This area is vulnerable in the next storm. Any unprotected buildings here will be destroyed. That's the first time that we've seen that. If I was to build in there, um, we would need to make sure that we build a we build a scrap wall around it. Build a scrap wall around it, which will protect it against storms. Uh, once the storm has hit, uh, it is going to uh, it's going to refresh the it's going to refresh the tiles, I believe. So that's fine. Right, uh, end the turn and move forward. What do we got going on here? Let's see. Uh, yeah, I mean, what is my priority right now? I really need to. I really need to ask. I mean, we're gonna continue to. We're gonna continue to explore down here. Let's actually go there. Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. I'm very very happy with that. That's looking really really nice. We can definitely build down here. This is going to give us a rail route to to get to these to get to these two areas. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's think about where we want to build our wind turbine. Our singular wind turbine, that is. Uh, I guess we'll build it over here. That's fine. It's going to give us plus one extra energy. That's okay. I'm very, very happy with that. We need to get to plus 10, remember. Either that or we try and find ourselves another supply drop somewhere. I mean, I can't just magic them into existence, but, you know, I will try and do that. Um, two turns until the storm is coming. I mean, very, very little that we can actually do. As long as we're not overflowing, then I'm fine with, I'm fine with where we are. Right. Oh, yeah, a scrap beacon. Creates a scrap wall around the nearest unshielded flat tile. Yeah, I forgot about that. I mean, I could get that, like, in here. I mean, it doesn't... doesn't actually cost that much to build at all. I think we're... I think we're better... I think we're better going for the uh, additional... Um, additional wind turbines, additional batteries. That does seem... That does seem pretty important. But again, not much that I can do about that right now. Let's go for a scan down here. That is a supply drop. Love to see it. Love, love, love to see it. It is in a very, very, very inconvenient place. And it's also, I mean, there is literally nothing. 
nothing that we can do about the fact that it's shaped in such an awkward place, but I guess that's fine. Um, I should also maybe use one of these scan drones. I feel like this isn't going to be super useful, but I guess we'll do it here. Okay, you know what? That actually was really, really useful. Because there is a supply drop over here that I'm very, very interested in getting to. So we're going to see if we can try and do that. Right, let's continue to get additional wind turbines. Yep, that's good. And maybe an additional battery. Do we need an additional battery? We don't need an additional battery yet. I think I'll just get another wind turbine here. Or will I? You know what? Maybe I'll... Oh, we found a supply drop literally... Wow. I, 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 okay, that was great. I was a way to say, it. let's start maybe, you know, at the expense of a little bit of metal that might end up going rogue. Let's see if we can try and, uh, you know, move out. Right, what do we got here? Massive machine drop from space converts closest uh, unoccupied mountain to... to itself to a sand dune every turn. Operates remotely. I mean, that is useful. Uh, okay, I think. Converts closest unoccupied mountain to sand every turn. Do I need that? A very efficient power plant? Has to be built on a water tile. Um, do we have a water tile anywhere that is not going to be used for water? See, that's the problem. No, we do not. And I need that water tile to be used for water. Hmm. I do like this idea. I do like this idea a lot. It's going to cost me a lot of metal, though. Hmm, lots of decision-making here. I'm going to take the Teutonic engine. Sure. Yeah. Remember the Agri Wall? We've still got that to build. The Scrap Beacon. Yeah, I mean, creates a Scrap Wall around the nearest unshielded flat tile. Do we have the resources for it? No, we don't have the resources for it. But something like that in here would be kind of good. Um, I would like to build the engine, the Teutonic engine here. Does it need to be built on a mountain? Yeah, it does. It needs to be built on a mountain. But honestly, that's pretty sick. If we could build that, like, right on there, like, right on the lava even, if we build it on the lava, then we are freaking good to go. But I still think, I still think getting this ore sorted is absolutely my top priority. I really, really do. I really, really, really do. And maybe another Teutonic engine down here. That'd be pretty good, too. Right. Okay, well, we are where we are. Let's move. A storm has passed through the area, destroying the marked tiles. The next storm is sure to be stronger. Yes, I know. I am... I'm working on it. I'm working on the ruins. Right. So this is... This is vulnerable. This is vulnerable. Any unprotected buildings here will be destroyed. That includes... That includes rail tiles. That includes rail tiles. That's just something that we need to bear in mind. Right. Here's what we're going to do. Straight away, we're going to hit this area with the scan. I was worried about that. <laughs> I was really worried about that. That kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. That kind of sucks majorly. Um, that kind of sucks majorly. That really, really does. But that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. I mean, we can protect this area from the storm, but I, I feel like using an item to protect a bit of rail is is like a total is a total waste. That really seems like a total waste to me. Uh, you know what? Let's let's live dangerously. Let's connect out here. I w I lived too dangerously. The the jagged mountain is there, and it is impeding my it is impeding my forward momentum tremendously. Okay, I mean, is there anything else that we can... Is there anything else that we can do, like, in terms of routes, in terms of areas that we can get to? I mean, no, uh, I think is the answer to that question. No. I'd love to get a... I'd love to get another one of those. I really would like... I, I, there was so, There's so much stuff that I would like. That's not a bad idea. As I say, that is not a bad idea at all to place this down here. Let's do that. Okay, so you're gonna you're you're shielded, you're protected against storms, and also you're gonna create a scrap wall around on uh, unprotected tiles. That's really really good. 
Um, is it, like, tremendously worthwhile? I mean, it doesn't feel, like, that bad, but it does take our energy down a little bit, which is maybe slightly problematic. Dude, I need to get this. I need to get this up and running, but I, I feel like I literally just can't. Supply cash, we need to find a way of getting of getting that, uh, getting that all connected up, but at least this is gonna, at least this is gonna sort of protect this area. I'm kind of happy with how that's looking. Kind of happy with how that's looking. Let's build this over here. Good thing that I checked that. Let's build another one over here. That's fine. That's going to take us up to 11. Yeah, feels like we're feels like we're stalled at the moment, but I need to just I need to just beeline. I literally just need to beeline. Can't do a scan yet, but that's fine. I feel pretty happy about the fact that we got the two connections up early. But again, there's not very much that we can do about that. Not very much that we can do about that. Um, converts closest mountain to, to sand. You know what? Actually, I think I'm going to save up. I think I'm going to save up for next turn to get that down. How much does it take in terms of energy? Two energy? Um, I think that's a price that I'm willing to pay. Let's do, let's do an ability scan over here. If we're lucky... This is a reasonably unimpeded area, is what I was going to say, but I'm not lucky apparently, so it is a very impeded area. To be fair, actually, now that we've got the Teutonic Engine, connecting up the Orbital Cannon to turn an area into lava is pretty freaking sick. Let's go to the next turn. Okay, this area is looking absolutely amazing, and we can actually, like, destroy it, like, fairly soon anyway, um, if it's if it's finished its thing. Let's build that here. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I am very, very happy with that. Now, the fact that you're going to convert it to sand, I don't think that that's an explode. If it wasn't explode and we were able to chain it together with the fact that we have the ability to build rails, um, that would be really, really sick. But I don't think that we do. We need to get we need to get to some new supply. We need to get to some new supply crates. That's for darn sure. Right. You know what? Let's let's maybe live a little bit dangerously again. That's a priority right up there. Okay, let's go. Okay, fine. 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 Fine, video game. Fine. You you win. You're determined to you're determined to you're determined to 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 really just taunt me. Let's hope there's no <laughs> ah, Come on. Come on. Hey, look at that. That's good. That's good. That's good. We've got a brand new, we've got a brand new root out of here now. And it's automatically being protected by a scrap tile, which is pretty great. Build that over there. Or a scrap wall, I should say. Uh, we're going to be able to get access to this area up here, which is going to give us double production of whatever we're interested in. There is going to be another, this Teutonic engine, by the way, I think is going to be our, our powerhouse. Maybe I don't go for the excavator. I mean, it is such an unbelievably inefficient, like, piece of resource. Piece of equipment. Like, it really, really sucks. We can drop it remotely as well. I need to remember that. I need to remember that. Okay, storm has passed through, destroying marked tiles. Yes, this area is now disconnected. Um, it doesn't actually need to be... It doesn't actually need to be reconnected right away. There is literally nothing to it that it needs to be connected to. It does need to be connected for us to eventually win, um, but that's kind of okay. Uh, I can build wind turbine, wind turbine up here. That would be good. Let's, let's, uh, let's actually scout that out. Okay, what's the maximum range? Converts closest unoccupied mountain. It might just be like a massive range. I don't think so. This tile is unfortunately marked again. We've got five turns. I would really like to get something down over there. This is maximum three. Yeah, you know, honestly, I mean, it's going to be protected. This is going to be protected as well. Eventually, you're going to destroy the mountain. This is a really, really nice combo. I really, really like that combo of stuff that we've got going on there. Yeah, pretty happy with, uh, pretty happy with that. You know what? I think I'm actually going to save my... I think I'm actually going to save my scrap because I would like to get another Teutonic engine right here. Yeah, that's really, really sick. That is connected and it's going to allow us to get into this area and ideally into both of these areas. And if we're able to do that like reasonably soon, then that would be great. Let's also spend... 
still in storm danger. I need to keep an eye on this one because I really want this to keep destroying tiles. If we're able to keep destroying tiles, then that's prime real estate that we're going to be able to open up, which I would be very, very happy about. Uh, yeah, I feel like we haven't made enough progress. Part of it is because we just don't have enough stuff. Like, we really just don't have enough stuff, but that's, you know, what can you do? What can you do? All right, you're going to destroy that. You are going to you're going to protect this down here. That's fine. That's okay. That's okay. We're, we're happy with that. Can I use an ability? It's so good. It's so good. It's actually so good. Okay. Um, this is great. This is really, really great for us. Do I want to prioritize getting the... Do I want to prioritize getting the supply crate connected up this turn? Or do I want to drop another Teutonic engine? What do I want to do? I think I want to drop another Teutonic engine, actually. What's the issue? Oh, we need four electricity? Okay. Well, I guess that's not possible this turn. The orbital cannon as well, to be able to turn... To be able to turn mountains into lava tiles and then immediately stick a thingy on it. That's pretty sick. I need you to... I need you to focus on this thingy over there. Uh, also, you know what I'm thinking? Let's get a... One of those. One of those. Beautiful. Plus six energy each and every turn. Uh, it did cost us all of our metal, but I am actually content with that. Next turn, we absolutely categorically need to get need to get this turned uh, need to get this turned up to ten. Okay, this is sick. We're actually going to end up protecting this with a scrap wall. This is a great little combo that I've uh, that I've got going on here. Love that. Love that. Love that. Okay, uh, let's get you connected. Let's get you connected. Let's get you connected. Brilliant. What have we got? Sub-zero battery. Advanced energy storage. Plus one power. Plus six battery. Uh, that's so good. That's so good. And we can actually just, like, immediately utilize it. Uh, let's immediately utilize it in an area that we know is going to be protected in perpetuity. That is so unbelievably good. Okay, that has absolutely changed our, changed our, uh, our fortunes here. Can still connect this up if I want to. The bombard ability costs one metal and five power. Maybe not the worst idea in the world. Maybe not the worst idea in the world. I'm still really looking for the opportunity just to get additional metal. Like, I'm really, really looking for the opportunity to get additional metal. But how? But how is, is the question that I would like to... That I would like to answer. Okay, maybe let's use the maybe let's use the big old uh, scan drone. Use the big old scan drone. Use the big old scan drone over here. Something like this. Yeah, we need to basically we need to try basically try and get as much. We need to basically try and get as much intel as we possibly can on connecting up a relic or even just like getting an extra like lava. A, an extra lava zone in, in, in an area that we're able to just plop a Teutonic drone down. Like, an extra lava zone in there would have been so nice. I guess we're just going to have to place it over here. Alternatively, there is the Bombard. There is the Bombard. One metal? I mean, we're not going to be able to do it this turn, but we're going to be able to do it next turn. Okay. Okay. Sure, orbital cannon reactivated. That is good. Now uh, we are going to see these two bits of uh, these two these two tiles destroyed. Is that something that I care about? It's not actually something that I care about. I don't think. I really, really, really want to use the bombard uh, ability. Yeah, we can't at the moment, but we'll be able to soon. Right. Okay. Next turn. How are we looking? This is looking so good. We got a... It says... Wait, hold on. It says there's storm danger. Also, we can now connect this up. It says there's still storm danger here, but... Uh... Okay, I'm building a scrap wall there. I, I really don't care uh, if it's going to cost me one of my abilities. It's such a valuable tile. Uh, means we can't do anything about it over here. I think we're just going to have to deal with that reality. Um, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna happen that these two tiles end up getting destroyed. That's probably fine. Uh, this can be connected up over here as well now. That's really, really good. D 
do I want to do anything else in the meantime? Yeah, you know what? Hit me with one more scan. Hit me with one more scan. Just over here. If there's a lava tile, we're in luck. Okay, that's good. Uh, we're gonna save. We're gonna save for that. Um, we're gonna save for that tectonic thing. That's good. Okay, so we, we've got two out of seven connected. That's good. We've got two more storage caches in sight that we should be able to take advantage of. We get the Teutonic Engine as soon as we possibly can, which will be next turn. Uh, this is going to get disconnected, but I don't think that that's necessarily a problem. The only thing that we are having trouble getting at the moment is... The only thing that we're having trouble getting with uh, at the moment is metal. That is the only problem. And the fact that these two are going to get destroyed... This getting destroyed is no big deal. Um, yeah, it's a real... That's a real problem. But to be fair, we're actually very, very close to getting... To getting that... Um, to getting that number up to 10. We get that number up to 10. Suddenly, we're sitting pretty on, on this thing over here. Which is really, really good. Okay, well, let's just... We'll just suck it up. Take the, take the hit on the storm. Replace that. There's no other way to deal with it. Oh, this sucks hardcore, but it's actually okay. This is fully maxed out, has it? No, this is not quite fully maxed out. But once this scrap beacon is done, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it destroyed, because there's no point. Uh, there's no point in keeping it. Let's get a. Let's get a Teutonic engine down here. Immediately start destroying stuff around here. That's really really good. Um, I think we're going to have to try and protect this one. Five turns until the storm arrives. Yep. Okay. 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 That's it's fine. It is It is fine. It is. It is absolutely fine. What about if I was to try and get a... What if I was to try and get a scrap beacon in here? Or even in here. It's actually not a bad place for it, and it would allow us to get like 100% protected. What I should also do is... What I should also do is I should also uncover... Hold up. I should also uncover this area, because there might very well be... What the heck is that? Ruined wasteland, immovable and useless counts as a flat tile. Okay. Uh, yeah, there might be something down here that this thing decides to build on. It can build on these two tiles, I think. One, two, three. It can build on that tile right there. That's fine. Okay. We still got a little bit of time left. You have got... You're going to build on that tile. That's good. That would have been handy before. Uh, but it's fine now. This is continuing to destroy stuff over here, which is what exactly you like to see. This is continuing to destroy stuff over here. That's fine, too. Anything that I value, like, really, really, really getting right now. Actually, is a scrap beacon best in the middle here? I think a scrap beacon might be best in the middle here. You know what? I'll actually do that. I'll actually do that. I know you'll be destroyed. That's fine. But let's get a scrap beacon... Right in the middle there. Yeah, so you're going to start protecting stuff. That's really, really nice. We've still got the ability to protect with one scrap wall. We've got one scrap wall ability. And we've also got the disperser. I'm a little bit worried about the fact that a lot of this infrastructure is going to end up getting destroyed. That getting destroyed is no big deal. That getting destroyed is also no big deal because we can replace it. But hopefully the scrap beacon will, will fix it. Yeah, that'd be really good. Okay, uh, do we need anything else? Can we do anything else? No, not particularly. This this thing needs to work overtime. How on earth we're going to get here, I have no idea. Okay. This is looking this is looking really really good. I got to be honest, this is looking really really impressive. Uh, we are back down to having no power generation at all. Absolutely not. I mean, an agri wall, Teutonic engine. We don't have water. We do not even have water. Yeah. I want to build out to here. There's nothing. There's nothing else, is there? No, there's nothing else. 
There's nothing else. Let's get... Get that in there. That's at least going to give us some energy generation. It's nothing to write home about. It's nothing spectacular, but it's at least it's at least something. More Teutonic engines. Can we get more Teutonic engines? This scrap... One, two... Are you protecting over here? I th it said it was three range. A shield generator with a range of two in a five by five. Oh, it's three. It's three from itself. Oh, well, that's very, very good, in fact. Also, this um, this mutagen vat. You know what? I should connect that up. I should connect that up. Let's, uh, let's connect that up. Yeah, accelerated mutagen, which, what does it do? spreading it to all adjacent tiles it does nothing for us if we if we have no ability to get grass although it this is now shielded which <laughs> matters apparently not sure that it does but hey ho right um i actually think we maybe want to destroy this scrap beacon here there's realistically nothing else that it can protect and it's just costing us a lot of electricity right now a lot of energy Kind of sucks to think that way, but I don't think that we have any choice. Let's destroy it after next turn. Sure. Okay. This is... This this flipping Teutonic engine thing is so good. We need to get down more of these. We need to get down way more of these. Okay, you're going to protect over there. That's fine. Let's get... Let's get this scrap wall down here just because it needs to be done. I'm afraid there is no way around it. We're just going to have to deal with the fact that we're just we're just dealing with it. Um, this scrap beacon is going to get destroyed. Again, there is... Yeah, there is no reason to do it. There's no reason to leave. There's no reason to leave it there. We've got more than enough sort of infrastructure around here. We can destroy all of these tiles, replace them with more efficient um, energy generation. You know, a whole bunch of stuff like that. We don't need to. We don't need to keep that maintained. We really, really don't. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? I really do need to spend at least one of these on electricity generation, which is what I'll do. And then next turn, I guess we can go and get some more Teutonic enablers or whatever the heck they're called. Okay, that's good. You're going to get protected. You could protect the useful tiles first, to be fair, video game, but that's not the end of the world. Right, more Teutonic generation. More Teutonic stuff. I've got no more scanning ability. I can always... Remember, I can always create a... I can always create my very own... Lava pits. Which is actually legitimately what I might do. Although if I use that ability, then I'm not going to be able to build. I'm not going to be able to build until next turn. You know what? Sure. Let's do Let's do a bombard. Let's do a bombard like over here. Good. And then next turn, as soon as we have the potential to do it, we are going to get the Teutonic Engine on there. That's fine. Let's also get a, another wind turbine. We'll get another wind turbine up here. Probably. That's looking good. A little bit of extra vision goes a long way. Let's also spend some energy on a scan, which I'll do right over here. We found a lava tile. We found a lava tile. That's so good. Okay. Uh, that's maybe the priority then instead. What do we got over here? An alien shield. Shields a large area when connected. You'll love to see it. A supply drop. Okay. Excellent. A node. Excellent. And also the ruins. Okay, that is that is our priority. Right, are we going to lose anything major here? We're going to lose one, two bits. Three bits. Three bits that really mat. I mean, one bit that really matters. I think maybe we actually want to do the... We want to do a seed bomb here? Sure, you know what? Do a seed bomb here and do a seed bomb here. That's going to protect both of those areas from... Uh, the storm, which I actually think, you know what, maybe doesn't look immediately super valuable, but it actually allows us to do so much. So that tile is going to end up getting destroyed. Frankly, I do not care about that tile getting destroyed. It doesn't particularly matter to me. Uh, what have we got going on here? This scrap beacon is going to have to do a lot of heavy lifting to try and cover up this wind turbine, but if it ends up getting destroyed, that is not the end of the world. That wind turbine getting destroyed is a bit of an irritation. 
any of my Teutonic thingies being targeted. No, which is great news. Teutonic engine, let's freaking go. Let's start destroying all the rocks around here. You absolutely love to see it. Um, I am going to actually legitimately try and get this. I'm going to try and get this excavator up and running. Legitimately. Legitimately. I know I've said it before, but I'll say it again. Also, what did the... Yeah, the... the Mutates grass on a targeted tile, spreading it to all adjacent sand tiles. Like, that is unbelievably sick. But it's going to require water. Uh, I, there's just no good choices. <laughs> there's just no good choices. Um, sure. Sure. We we need more metal. We need more metal. You know what? I'm going to beeline for the metal. I know that I've said that before, but I'm going to say it again. I need more metal. This is looking good. We're finally getting a route through here. That is looking a little bit less than ideal. We have, like, so flipping far away to so much, so much space. So much space to get through. Okay. Well, you know, we can do what we can do. We can do what we can do. What am I doing right now? That's right. I am building towards getting a excavator. No ifs, no buts, no maybes. That's what we're doing. Um, do I want to just take the hit there, by the way? I don't have a choice. I don't have a choice, do I? Well, actually, I could always use the I could always use the ability, but we're only 22 turns in, and I feel like We've got a little bit more latitude to go before we before we do that. Look, you know what, Potato? Just 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 do what you said you were gonna do. Do the do the simple stuff. Get the simple stuff done. Okay, that's another that's another thing down. Let's do another scan. Let's get the basics. Let's get the basics right. Two supply pods over there. That's very interesting. I'm interested in that. That is good. Uh, we've almost got a full route here. If this Teutonic uh, excavator thing connects this over here, then that would be great. That would be really, really good. This supply cache is almost within reach. This area is almost within reach. We are, we're planning for the future here. We're planning for the future here. It may look a little dicey, but it's okay. We're planning for the future. Right. This Teutonic thing is going to end up destroying that one. That is fine. As things go, that's okay. You're going to end up destroying this one. That's good. As long as this gets through this and this, then we should be fine. This this thing has honestly been a, a game changer. I don't know how it would be possible to actually get through all of these mountains without, without dealing with this. Again, we've got the bombard ability, but, I mean, is that actually something that I really value? Not really. Not really. Also, that grass ability would be really, really sick. Three power and three water. I should really just go and do that, shouldn't I? God, I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again, where I say that I'm going to get... I say I say that I'm going to get the flipping... the flipping excavator, and I just... I just can't. You know what? Potato, just focus up. Focus up. Get the excavator done, okay? Get the excavator done. I, I don't, I don't want to deal with it anymore. I want to get... I want to get more power. Oh, this is good. This is good. This is a good little combo here. It's a good little combo. Uh, I should have probably used the scan ability next uh, last turn, but that's fine. That's pretty sick. Do I want to build another Teutonic thing? No. No, no, no. I just want to get... I want to get... I want to get the water thing there so badly. I don't want to get the water thing there badly. I want to get this. I want to get this done. I actually think I trashed this. Trash this and trash this. Yeah, trash this, trash this. Rebuild with you and you. That's protected now. Great, and we've got 11 power. You know what that means? Next turn, baby. Yes, we're doing it. We are doing it. We are doing it. We're finally flipping doing it. Ugh, we need five. Gosh darn it, that's annoying. Uh, anything that we're going to lose, like, majorly important. This is kind of important. Not that important. I mean, it is... It's important, but it's not that important. Um... That's also kind of important. 
It's basically going to cost me a turn to get back up and running. You know what? Do... Do that over there. Yeah, take that out of the storm. You can end up getting destroyed. I don't care about that. We'll go to abilities. Get scanning. Do two, actually. Yeah, that's fine. And then we'll go to the next turn. Okay, we only have one tile that is in that is in range that we're going to see sucking. And it's that one. That's okay. We st it's, it's, it's literally just one. It's literally just one. That's fine. The vast bulk of our base is actually protected at the moment. I think that's a pretty great place to be. We now have we now have the ability to get all the way across to this new relic, to this supply pod. Am I going to do it this turn? No, I'm not. Because I'm going to get this flippin' excavator. After I said that I would do it, I actually am going to do it. And you know what? That means that we've still got a little bit of extra spare space. Build that in there. Okay, now we're talking. Now we are talking. That supply pod is absolutely a priority to get next. You're going to end up getting cream crackered next turn if we do nothing. I don't think I can do anything. I think you just need to live your best life, and I think you just need to try and, you know, just just go. Also, this water. We're going to get that water. Man, it actually feels so flippin' good. Uh, let's maybe use one ability over here. Maybe see if we can try and find some lava. Oh, just a cheeky second one, sure. Okay, that's decent. That's decent, but it's not, not crazy. I'm looking for an opportunity to put down a maybe a bombard thing over here because we need to get... We need to get access to this area over here. Either way, I am feeling positive about this. This is looking really, really good. We've got three tiles that are currently within range. That's going to get protected. That's who gives a hoot. That's the, the big one. But uh, honestly, as long as it destroys this, we are golden. We are golden. And it is queued up to destroy that one next time. So that is great. A little bit low on the old energy. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. Right. Okay. Now that we've got an actual an actual metal mine, let's start spending a little bit of metal. Let's get that connected up. What do we got? Shields all adjacent tiles when connected. Three metal. That's not bad. We found a remnant. Uh, if we let them use our engines, they'll provide resources from their powerful hive. Yeah, um, I think that's a, a cap, a storage cap that we would lose, right? Turns a seed tile to grass. I actually might take this. I actually might take the seed tile. I really want to... I do want to do this. I do want to use this, but... Um, I think the seed bomb is much more useful because we've got the uh, the mutagen lab connected. Yeah, and speaking of the mutagen lab being connected, can I get... Holy cow, have I actually just seen through the matrix? If we get this here, this here, it's a grass tile. It's a grass, like, literally, like, all the way. Oh, that would be so sick. That would be really, really sick if we could get that, if we could get that connected. That would be really, really good. But what I need to do first, what I need to do first is I need to get the ice mine. It's going to cost four water to get. Ugh, that's such a large amount. Such a large amount of water. Can I get one of those there? One, two here. Right. Maintenance station. Shield itself and all rails whilst connected. Range three. That's sick, actually. That's sick, because that allows us to connect up this sort of northern corridor over here. Core mine. Advanced metal extractor turns the nearest unoccupied tile into wasteland every turn. Operates remotely. Um, or two scrap walls. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. I don't have any scrap walls. This is really, really useful. Wasteland. Ugh. I think this is going to accelerate us. I think this is going to accelerate our ability to do anything. I think we need to deploy it, like, right now. Yeah. Okay. So that's going to get us plus eight each and every turn. Eight metal each and every turn. That is absolutely bonkers. That is going to really, really, really change the game. Um, right. Next priority is getting this water up and running so that we can start doing mutagen stuff. Um, we've got the seed bomb, like, ready to deploy. It may not feel like it, but we are in a really, really good place. Okay. This is this is looking really, really positive. Looking really, really positive. Right. Let's get... Let's get the ice mine there. We are losing power. I know we're losing power. That is a, that is a cross that we're going to have to bear temporarily. Any other storage pods that can be connected up? This can be connected up next turn. So I think I want to build out to it. You know what? Let's do it. 
yeah, we're going to be able to connect one more, one more metal in next turn, and we're going to be absolutely golden. I still like the idea of an agri wall over here. It is just going to cost me an absolute arm and a leg. And by an absolute arm and a leg, I mean in terms of water. It's just going to take a long time to get to get the water over there. However, that being said, is like I think the route to all of the, with the exception of this one over here, it's all looking it's all looking good, right? It's all looking good. Right, let's get... Oh, that looks so good. This 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 entire area is just, like, absolutely good to go. Uh, right, we need to sort the power situation. Sorting the power situation, not the end of the world. Let's see what we've got here. An, a poorly constructed imitation of a gateway allows you to access the network. Has to be built on a node. That sucks. A geothermal power plant can only be built on lava. Dynamite? I mean, dynamite's pretty good. Is there a lava source nearby that we can actually utilize? Can't operate remotely either. Oh, it's a lava source right then there. Four power is pretty sick. I think I might actually take the dynamite, though, just in terms of ease of access. It's just going to really sort of help us move around. Maybe maybe that was a bit of a misplay, but honestly, um, I'll deal with it. I'll deal with it. Right, let's get that over there. I also would like to get a water tank. Build a water tank over here. That's good. That's going to allow us to uh, hold up to six water, which is really, really, really powerful because that is going to allow us to get that five that we need in order to do the accelerate mutagen. No, what was it that was going to that we were going to do with the water? I can't remember off the top of my head, but we were going to do something with the water and that's, that's it. Uh, we've got one spare we got one spare metal. What do I want to do with the one spare metal? Start building out here, I guess. Sure. Okay. Um, Storm-wise, we've got one tile. Don't care. One tile. I really do care. But you've done your job. You've done your job, amigo. I hope that this is going to give us a, a, clear, a clear route through. If it doesn't, we're going to be... We're going to be sad, but that's okay. Now, can I just, like, straight up build all the way across here? I actually think that I legitimately can. I am going to do that. I am going to do that. What is the range? Shields a large area when connected. Let's freaking go for it. Hardened pods, all supply drops are scrap walled. That's pretty good. Future supply drops have their deployment option fixed to a frontier post. Um, I'll take that, actually. I'll take that. Now, riskily, I'm going to try and connect this up. Right. What do we got? Supply drop found. Let's see what the supply drop is. Um, volcanic compression facilities produces one disperser. Disperser is the plus thing. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Frontier post shielded structure that provides a small amount of economic output or a scrap wall. I think the scrap wall is probably most valuable here, right? The Frontier Outpost. Oh, the Frontier Outpost is pretty pretty freaking sick. It's only one deployment, though. The Scrap Wall is twice. Excellent. Look at that. This entire area has now been shielded. That is so unbelievably good. Not quite within range, but that is that is okay. Um, this is really, really good. That provides us a great opportunity to just get so much stuff down. Uh, what did I take? Did I take the Frontier Outpost? No, I took the Scrap Wall. Do we want to... Do we want to Scrap Wall this? You know what? Maybe I actually do. I mean, it's doing good stuff, right? It's doing good stuff. Let's protect it. Let's protect it. It's only it's only right. Okay, we have got 20 turns left. This is... We're, we're at an hour here, and I am absolutely loving myself. This is fantastic. These two are ripe to be to be exploited, like, next, which is great. Uh, mutagen stuff. We can do mutagen stuff, like, right now, right? Oh, yeah, there was the Agri Wall. The Agri Wall was the five, right, wasn't it? Agri Wall was the five. Where do I want to build to next? Honestly, this is, a, this is such a great little placement. It, it is such a great placement. The Ancient Shield is, is nice. Like, it, it's free. It's literally free real estate. Um, I think we need to get a Teutonic thing down here, don't we? Yeah, I think that's the case. Either way, I am, like, feeling optimistic. We need to do something about this area up here. I don't know what we're going to do about that. 
Um, because this is a mess up here. This is a mess. Uh, sure. You know what? Let's build one. Sure, to get a little bit of extra intel. Right. Storm has destroyed literally useless tiles. That's fine. That is a pretty useful tile. That's a pretty useful tile over there, too. Um, however, we can mutagen this stuff. Very, very easily, in fact. And we've got a few turns before we need to do it. Right, any supply pods that we want to hit up? Can I... Come on, please, please let this be empty. <gasps> it's empty. Okay, you know what? I'll take it. What do we got? An energy wall shields itself and a 1x3 horizontal row below it if it is connected. That's good because that allows us to connect, or allows us to save all of this, which is quite nice. The frontier post or disperser. I think I might take an energy wall. Take an energy wall. Build that in there. Maybe not that ideal, to be honest. Maybe not that ideal. But, you know what? Okay, fine. We'll work, we'll work, we'll work on that. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it for now, video game. That is okay. So, um, what do I need for a Teutonic engine? We need one more scrap. That's a shame. So we need to get this in here. We get that in there, we are golden. Get that in there, we are golden. What else do we need to connect up? I mean, to be honest, that's, I mean, we're pretty much there. Let's actually connect, let's actually connect this. Heat shield, he, uh, shielded, shielded lava tiles extend a shield around all adjacent tiles. Upon collection, every grass tile spreads grass to all adjacent sand tiles once. For the rest of the game, water storage buildings on non-grass tiles explode. <laughs> when a water storage building explodes, it turns the tile under it to grass. Warning, you currently have one water storage building not on grass. That's kind of sick, to be fair. I don't think it would really make that much of a difference for us. We really don't have that many grass tiles, which I really should be... I should be doing something with my... With my uh, I should be doing something with my grass tiles. Tell you what I'll do. Here we go. Seed bomb. Right in there. And then we're going to mutagen this. Abilities. Accelerate mutagen. Look at that. Protected. Beautiful. Didn't really make that much of a difference, did it? Not particularly. This is this thing is going to get destroyed. Eh, if it does, that's probably not the end of the world. This is being connected over here. Uh, I do need more power generation, don't I? Yeah, kind of desperately, actually. What do we got? Let's do abilities, destroy, destroy. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know, I know. Don't worry. <laughs> Oops. That needs to be reconnected because I don't actually have enough metal to rebuild that thing. Okay, that, whatever, whatever. That needs to be reconnected. That was a bit of a misplay, but that's fine. Can we spend our one metal on something else? Build out here. Sure. Okay. Let's see what we've got going on. Honestly, that rail, that rail shield thing probably would have been probably would have been better but it's okay also we could just build down here to get to this to get to this area instead of building out Teutonic engine needs to go down needs to go down now yep let's get that done we're losing power uh that's an oof I think um that's a big oof that is a big 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 oof it's an ice mine this scrap Scrap inspector. Not a scrap inspector. You know what? You're probably useless, right? Yeah, you, this this Teutonic mine has done its has done its stuff. Let's um let's let's destroy you. Let's destroy you. Yeah. Okay, so that takes us back to, to power parity, which means that we're gonna continue to do almost all of our other destruction stuff. This is important, I guess, over here. Just how do we get how do we get this area like sorted? That's what I want to know. How do we get that area sorted? I can't even use I can't even use my advanced mutagen stuff. Can I use an agri wall? I can use an agri wall actually. Hmm. 
must be straight and unbroken by mountains. I mean, there's no way that that actually works, right? If that actually works, that is unbelievably sick. We put one there, we put one up at the other end. Uh, we have no, we have no, uh, like, generation, though, at the moment. Okay, this is problematic over here, but it's fine. Either way, we're working, we're working on getting there. We're working on getting there. Right, as long as we're spending our metal each and every turn, that's fine. Uh, yeah. Any issues? No real issues, to be honest. We got 20 turns left, and I'm feeling quite positive. I'm feeling positive-ish. We still have dynamite, remember? So we've still got the opportunity to immediately connect something, if we really need to. We really need additional power. Desperate for additional power. Any supply crates that we can connect up this turn? No. What about this? Unlocks the recycle ability when connected. I mean, who cares? <gasps> Good. We're getting rid of this. We're getting rid of this. That means we're going to be getting rid of these tiles kind of soon, which is great. Uh, we can build a power plant here. That's good. That's going to give us a little bit of power generation. That's good. Um... I kind of feel like... I mean, we've got the ability to do a seed bomb, or alternatively, we can use this thing over here. And then that's going to allow us to get, like, most of the way out here. One. Can we build a... Can't build that on Wasteland. Okay, that's a shame. We could get, like, most of the way over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is what we need. So we're not actually that far off. Uh, let's do that, and then let's do this, this, and then we'll see what we can do next turn. Right. Okay, this scrap beacon is still consuming, like, a lot of power, but it's fine. It's fine. It is fine. It's fine. Anything interesting, unique, gonna get destroyed. This, but it, it hopefully won't get destroyed, because next turn we're gonna place the... Next turn we're gonna place the big thing. Oh, we found a supply drop. Oh, that's so sick. Uh, accumulator provides extremely efficient energy generation and storage, but can only be built on node tiles. Uh, that's okay. What do you mean extremely efficient? Plus two power? Seven metal? That doesn't seem extremely efficient to me. I'm going to take the seed bomb. Right. We'll get that all protected. That's pretty sick. Uh, we do still have the node tile over here, which I'm very, very interested in connecting up. You know what? Let's let's actually investigate that. Let's investigate that, because I think we can get... I think we can get... First of all, let's get a Disperser over here. Disperser is definitely less valuable than um, what else we're dealing with. That we can replace. That's fine. That is fine. This is going to be a little bit of an inconvenience to replace, although we could always, like... No, I can't. I cannot advance mutagen. I can't advance mutagen anything. Because if I advance mutagen anything, then that's going to mean that we're not going to have enough water next turn. Because the advanced mutagen or the accelerate mutagen ability uses three water, and I need to have that next turn uh, available. So here, this is going to work out. Power. Yes. Dynamite. Yes. Connect. You love to see it. Okay. Sand, mountains, and wasteland around the ship are converted to grass. Future supply drops have their item option fixed to always be a defective supply drop. Uh, sand, mountains, and wasteland around the ship are converted to grass. That's really good and answers one of the major questions that we have about how we were going to get up here. Okay, that's really, really good. Um, so that's five out of seven connected. This one to go, 
this one to go. We have done frightfully little work to actually get connected over there, but that's okay. Uh, I still have a scrap wall. I'm going to protect this because it's giving me two metal every turn, and that is, like, absolutely worthwhile. Uh, we can also, you know what? We can also dynamite here. I'm going to keep my dynamite for now, but that's, that's something that I'm interested in. Uh, yeah, there, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff that's going to get destroyed if I don't absolutely nail this turn. If this doesn't work, I am in trouble. Not in trouble. I'm in... I'm, I'm sad. Must be straight and unbroken by mountains. Converts all sand tiles between itself and other agri walls to grass. I'm just gonna hope that it... It works! Oh my god, it works. Okay, that is sick. That cost me 2 metal and 10 water. That is amazing. That is single-handedly protected everything. Okay, thank god that worked. Okay. Okay, Any anything else that's going to get destroyed, that's going to get destroyed, and that's going to be a little inconvenience. That's going to get destroyed and be a little inconvenience. Um, could we do something about it? Yeah, probably. That's going to be destroyed and be a little inconvenience. I mean, to be honest... We're going to be fine. We're going to be absolutely fine. We're going to be absolutely fine there. I'm reasonably happy with that. Right. Let's go up here. Let's get a... Power thingy. And then let's start smashing out the scans. This is why... This is why I saved... This is why I saved the, uh, the dynamite. Because honestly, I think a dynamite through this mountain might suit us just fine. And you know what? Actually, maybe I'm so confident that I'm going to do it right now. Confidence is perhaps the wrong word, but I want to get it done because I'm going to be able to get the supply crate this turn, which is great. Uh, constructing one will unlock the irrigate ability. Each subsequent copy made will reduce the water cost. Okay, that's cool. I like that. Uh, seed bomb. I'll take the seed bomb. This is okay. This is okay. This is okay. Uh, all we need is one orbital, one orbital shot. We're probably going to spend one singular turn, like, getting caught back up to where we were. Because, I mean, a couple of stuff are... A couple of things are going to get destroyed. Yeah, a couple of things are going to get destroyed. That's going to be a little bit of an annoyance, but... We'll do that. We'll get that reconnected. We'll get... That reconnected. Honestly, this... To here? Looks like a prime area for... What do you call it? Hydro walling. Either way, that's fine. Right, so, um, I would like to scan. Although, how much will an orbital bombard cost? Connect that up there. How much does an orbital bombard cost? Abilities, five. You know what? We'll go right there. Uh, because that's still going to count as a connection. We're going to have to build it next turn, but that's fine. That's a little bit of an annoyance, but that's okay. Also, we have the option of protecting this. In fact, I tell you what, here's exactly what we're going to do. Literally just going to drop a seed bomb right there. And then we're going to go abilities. We're going to go to accelerate. And we're going to just pop that over there. And that's going to sort us out. We can do the same next turn. That should be fine. Reasonably happy with how that's looking. This is all protected. We actually only have five tiles that are going to take damage. We can accelerate the mutagen next turn with that anyway. I should maybe have built the frontier outpost because it's actually pretty... It's actually pretty jammy. But hey-ho, this one down here still represents a problem because this just needs to just needs to work a little bit faster, you know? Uh, let's get a power plant in here. It's going to connect that up there. This is super easy to connect. This is super, super easy to connect once we have the... Once we have... Once this, once this machine decides to start destroying one of these mountains, we can connect it literally like that. Okay, I should have built one more. I should have built one more railway, but that's fine. Look, it's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Let's get a Teutonic Engine. Recycling plant activated. Sick. We've restored an ancient relic. The relic provides us with a powerful new ability. Recycle as long as we have it connected. Um, does that just immediately allow us to connect this up? <laughs> it absolutely does. Water tanks are now one by one grass generators. Convert under sand underneath themselves to grass. Powerful swirl of energy is affecting our parallel dimension. I don't have a gateway. We'll take sustainable uh, agriculture. Okay, we have one more to connect. We have one more to connect. And honestly, this is kind of sick, because both of these mountains are going to get destroyed in one fell swoop. 
Very, very nice. We've got four tiles that are going to take damage. It's over here. Uh, we can we can easily fix that by getting by getting more grass. Do we have any? We actually straight up have we actually straight up have enough seed bombs to just fix the the issue. I didn't. I probably didn't even need to throw this Teutonic engine down, but it doesn't particularly matter. Let's go to the next turn. Get rid of both of these. Beautiful. And let's see what we can do with eight. Oh, for God's sake. Really? Really? There's so many flipping mountains around here. Um, let's... Oh, that's another supply drop. I mean, that's great, but like that... I'm, I'm very annoyed. I'm very, very annoyed at that. That is... That is... <laughs> that is irritating. Very, very irritating. You know what? Give me a seed bomb. Seed bomb there. That's fine. That'll protect us probably until the end of the game. Let's be real. Uh, let's throw another seed bomb down here. What are the other two tiles that are impacted? That's kind of important, I guess. Where's the other one? That's kind of not important, I guess, actually. But Sure, I'll seed bomb that. Right, that gives us three power... Or three uh, metal left to spend. We'll spend it on connecting up that. That's fine. We've got one thing that's not connected. You know what? Just for the sake of making things look nice, let's delete that. Honestly... These freaking tectonic engines are so good. I'm realizing now that I haven't said them correctly for the entirety of the game. Also, let's do accelerate mutagen. <gasps> we can't we can't do it on a node. Oh, that's such a shame. Um that's not the end of the world. If we lose two power or four power, whatever it is, not a big deal. This is gonna be really flippin' annoying, isn't it? Okay, we need to try and find a way of getting these supply pods connected because I need some I need some extra I need some extra abilities this is not going to help me is it no probably not uh, I mean any sort of extra intel would be great at a time like this but we literally just need this tectonic engine in fact I tell you what no I don't need the tectonic engine what am I talking about I need to use the uh, bombard ability not enough energy Ugh, whatever we'll do it next we'll do it next turn let's get Power, power, can't build any more power. Um, honestly, I feel like there's so much of this base that is protected because of these shield generators and because of the tectonic, uh, the tectonic engines. What an unbelievably sick ability. Refund that, sure, and then we'll build another power generator. Okay. Now we're talking. Now we are talking. You still do not want to destroy what I want you to destroy, video game. But that's fine. That's okay. I'm not. I'm not bitter about it. Okay, that goes down there. Boom. We get the tectonic engine, which we can place directly on lava. That is going to give us what we need. Building on node tiles are now remote. That's sick. When a platform is destroyed by the storm, it leaves a scrap wall. Platforms are automatically marked when constructed. Whatever. Who cares? Uh, we actually freaking destroyed that there. That was unbelievably good um wow i feel like we got a real mix of almost all sort of characteristics about this game we managed to incorporate like water mechanics we managed to incorporate everything holy cow that was so unbelievably sick uh how on earth we would have managed without getting well first of all this little thing this little guy was great just like destroying wasteland in an area that i never even went near that was really really sick um probably should have got the ore extractor earlier Kind of had a little bit of a slow start, but to be fair, the slow start did allow us to get, like, a whole bunch of shield walls. Like, we really, really benefited from having a whole bunch of scrap, sort of, or scrap walls in place for when it really matters. Uh, we got a lot of good upgrades. I don't know how we would have done it without the tectonic engines. They are ridiculously sick. Um, but hey-ho, we did it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much for watching. Uh, it's been me, Potato, playing Wastelander. This is a really, really great game. I would recommend checking it out. Um, I don't think it's released yet, but it's going to be great when it comes out. It is flipping fantastic. Can't wait to play more. But anyway, thank you ever so much for watching, folks. My name is Potato. I'll see you next time. Bye.